<laughs> this here's a tale of jealousy, and what happens when the little green-eyed monster starts to gnaw at your innards. Yes, I calls it slumber nice. <laughs> I'm taking you to a plantation on a private island in the West Indies. <laughs> oh, there's the beach of the long white sands just ahead of you. The tall palms are swaying and are waving to welcome us across the blue evening. <laughs> yes, listen to the natives over there in the little village. They're all relaxing from their day's work in the cane fields. <laughs> oh, there ain't nothing to disturb you here. Not one thing, except in Manuel, the giant zombie of Devil's Cove. <laughs> <laughs> yes, look, see the big house over there in the midst of the plantation garden. A party is just coming to a close. Yes, they've been celebrating the engagement of the landowner's beautiful daughter Matilda to young Jason Barnes, the handsome overseer of the plantation. <laughs> oh, everyone were happy. Everyone, except in Madame Tulip. Oh, yes, Madame Tulip, the beautiful native companion to Matilda, yes. Oh, she weren't taking it so good, cause she wants Jason for herself. <laughs> oh, she ain't as happy over the coming wedding as she's been making out. And thar, thar's Madame Tulip now, a-going into a room on the far side of the manor. Oh, her pretty face is set hard. She's got a plan, a plan to stop the wedding between Matilda and Jason. A deadly plan, oh, a real deadly plan. Look at her, she's luring the giant zombie Manuel. She's going into a voodoo trance as she moans into the wind. <laughs> Listen to her now. She sleeps, Manuel, in an upstairs room. She must not wake, her bed's her tomb. The wailing wind softly weeps. With blood and death, Matilda sleeps. Strike now, Manuel. It is my will. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Madame Tulip Chanton got across to Big Manuel in his cave out there. And he come in like she knowed he would. <laughs> He's coming into the garden now. His monster big footsteps a slashing and a pounding slow and heavy through the flowers and the shrubs. He's staring straight ahead out of his green glittering eyes. He's crushing a path heavy toward the stairway to Matilda's room. Yes, <laughs> yes, sweet Matilda, innocent Matilda. Oh, look at how she's lying there. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, doomed young thing. <laughs> uh, listen to her easy breathing. <laughs> she don't know what's before her. She don't know manuals are coming. <laughs> yes, a kittenish wind claws and nibbles at the lacy curtains on the French doors. Slumber nice, Matilda. Dream easy, my darling, cause it might be your last chance. <laughs> <laughs> Manuel's coming up the stair. His feet are slapping cold and solid on each step. There he is on the balcony. Now you can see his huge shadow blocking out the moonlight. Look at him! His starving, thick mouth is slavering purple with a desire for blood. Oh! Oh, how delightful! <laughs> yes! 
He's walking slow over to the bed, his mammoth hairy hands dangling long and loose out of the torn sleeves of his filthy shirt. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's a coming. He's a staring and a gasping down. Matilda's moving in her sleep. She's waking up. Manuel's big hands reach out toward her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, don't worry, cause Jason come in just in time to shoot the zombie and save his beloved. Oh, young love is so delightful. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. And are you wondering about Madame Tulip? Well, they took her out to a special-made guillotine and chopped off her head. <laughs> it rolled into the bucket. And I picked it up and put it in my apron and ran off with it. <laughs> yes. Would you like to see it? Oh, yes, I forgot. I gave it to poor lonely Jenny Boggs to play with. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!